Taylor Lee, uh, we're at the NHL All-Star Game. We're shooting this interview. Uh, the state of hockey, Minnesota, the team you both play for, the state you grew up in. Uh, we'll start with you, Lee. What does it mean to play for Team Minnesota and play professional women's hockey? Uh, both of those are really exciting and to get to do them both together all at the same time uh, is really special. It's something growing up I didn't know if I'd get the chance to do. Um, and so to have a league come together like this and then to be a part of Team Minnesota and like you said, the state of hockey, uh, it's been an awesome year so far. Mm -hmm. Everything you know, you'd want to dream about in a professional league. I don't think it was a surprise that you were going get, to get drafted first overall, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, it, until the moment happens, you never know. And then you go to Minnesota. You know, what's the memory from that moment? Yeah, I remember obviously um, in the summer when there hadn't been the, you know, the the rankings yet of who was going to get first pick, second pick, third pick, whatever. And, you know, I talked to my parents and it was just like just an exciting time to be a part of something big and something new. And it's been really exciting. Obviously, it was a, an exciting time in the draft and everything, but I was just really happy to be a part of something that I can continue to play hockey. And that's what all of us wanted to do. We just wanted to play. So um, it's been special. And Minnesota has a special place in my heart. So it's been it's been really fun. Lee, when you get an opportunity to reflect, who do you kind of remember most about helping you from Minnesota as you grew up a, a young female player? Yeah, you know, I feel really lucky to have been from Minnesota, especially Roseville, Minnesota. Um, the Brote family has had a huge impact on girls and women's hockey overall, and to have them have a huge impact on my career from the moment I started, really, uh, getting to watch Winnie Brote, being coached by Vic Brote. Um, they started the Whitecaps, uh, I don't even know how many years ago, and, and that really laid the groundwork to have a pro team there today. So still really grateful for everything that they've done for both myself and girls hockey. And Taylor, what about you? Who, who do you look back as someone who really helped your career from Minnesota? Yeah, my story is a little, I feel like, different than most, but Winnie definitely, you know, helped me. I She kind of found me in southern Minnesota and, and got me up to the cities um, to play hockey, which is, you know, southern Minnesota, most people probably don't know, but it's very small. You, you get some stars here and there, but it's not a lot of really good hockey. I really enjoyed it because my best friends were down there, but you know, the cities had the best hockey. So I played on the Minnesota machine and we traveled all over Winnipeg, Toronto, all these places I've been um, as a child. Uh, Scott Bulby was my coach there and he's, you know, been someone I've looked up to for a really long time and I've been able to play with his, his kids for, for a while now. But Minnesota, there's just been so many people you can't really say everyone's name. It's the list is ongoing and long, but you know, just like Lee said, very grateful to be a part of such an amazing community that you know, relishes the hockey community, but also like just cares so much about you as a person as well. I'm going to stick with you, Taylor, because I'm going to ask you to describe Lee and the type of leader and player that she is. <laughs> um, number one that comes to my mind is mother. Like she just, you know, cares about you in a way that like your mother would, and but she does everything the right way. You never have to ask her twice to do something when it comes to someone else. Um, and she, you know, as someone who is younger, I try to do more of an action based instead of sometimes always speaking out and I think she's someone that does a really good job of doing both. You know, she has um, the stability outside of hockey that, you know, makes her someone that you can look up to and lean on and then, you know, both on the rink and, and off the rink she's strong and she's, I've always said she's one of the defense I never want to play against. Her stick is a mile long so, um, you know, she, like she's just stable and she's someone that you can always look up to if you ever have a question or, you know, on the ice and have everything that you need. So. Yeah, Hillary Knight said you're the protector, which is, is probably why you maybe get too many penalty minutes sometimes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the first time in my career I've had as many as I had. So I'm learning, you know, yeah. I'm figuring out where the line is and hoping the refs don't re have my number already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're physical good. girls. Yeah, girl. yeah. So describe Taylor. You know, obviously I've been watching Taylor for a while. Uh, I'm really excited to get the chance to play with her more this year. Uh, the first word you can use to describe her is talent. Uh, you've seen that from her high school days. Um, but I'm really excited. The energy she brings now that I've gotten to be on a team with her, I think is, is really exciting. She's someone who is just dedicated to hockey and being the best she can be every day she's on the ice. And so I think that, like she said, through her actions, that is how she leads. She shows up and she does the right things every day. Um, and you are, you know, she definitely is becoming more comfortable and more vocal of a leader as we, we need to lean on her, you know, in Minnesota and she's doing an awesome job. Thanks. <laughs> Give each other 20 bucks later yeah, in the story. Yeah, find the table. <laughs> yeah. Um, favorite moment so far playing in Minnesota? That first game, yeah. you know, uh, 13,000 fans uh, at the XL Energy Center. The energy was awesome. Um, getting to play, it was our second game, but just, um, it, it felt like the what it 
it was all about. Like everything you had been working for was leading to a moment like that. And uh, just the way the Minnesota fans continue to support us is awesome. How about you? Can you yeah, add to that? I mean, that yeah, I have to say the same thing as that. But also, I, I really enjoy skating around during warm-ups and seeing all the little girls' signs and, and everyone that, you know, brings that, like, want factor of, like, I want to do that. I, like, you're someone I want to be like. And, you know, you just look at them and you think, like, that's that was me as a kid. And then also meeting fans after the game where, you know, we're, we try to be accessible. Not too accessible, but accessible enough where you can, you know, come up and ask questions or have a little girl that just wants a puck sign. Like, things like that where I know when I was a kid I didn't have that really opportunity to do that unless I was at the Gopher games and stuff. But still, it was still not the same. And this is awesome. I've, you know, met a lot of really cool people um, both on social media and in person, which has been pretty cool. I think that's the one thing I'm most proud of as an older, older player is watching you guys interact and you never miss an autograph, um, which just makes me, you know, so, so proud. Um, I, I, I guess just going back to if this is a little bit of a tough question in the sense that I'm going to ask you, Taylor, what would you tell yourself if you were Lee's age? And Lee, what would you tell yourself if you were Taylor's age? Wow. So this is a bit of a deep one. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> in my mind, she's 20, yeah. 23 yeah, with me, too. Um, <laughs> but I would say, like, to enjoy every single moment and realize, you know, I'm not going to look back on hockey and be like, I, the goals, the points, the assists, the, the games won, the games lost. Sometimes the games lost sick with you, but I feel like it's going to be the bus rides. Like, our team's just so hilarious. And right now, like, just relishing in the moment of everything that's happened, not only in this year, but everything moving forward. I've done all that work back at home. I've done it when I was a kid. I've done it in high school. Like, it's okay now to just, like, enjoy it. I just feel like there's a lot, lot to be grateful for and thankful for, for sure. And she's not going anywhere anytime soon. No, no there's no <laughs> way. I know. Stand, no. What would you say to yourself at Taylor's age, knowing uh, what you know now? I, I, I'm sure you can attest to it. It just goes by really fast. Um, it, it is so fun. It is all of those moments that you remember the most. Um, and being able to put everything into it, I know, is something that I, I, I am happy uh, you wouldn't regret when you're at that age. It, you get to focus on being a hockey player and being the best you can be. Um, while, like you said, being surrounded by your teammates and awesome moments like this. So um, soak it all in and, and commit yourself to it entirely, and you won't regret it. Yeah. You know, Taylor, I'm going to give you the last word um, because I want the last story to be about Lee as you can appreciate. Um, what does it mean to you to play with players like Lee who basically sacrificed four years of their career so that you could be the first ever draft pick? And you know, what does that mean to you? I get chills talking about it, um, but I just would think like, she's said stories and everyone that's like came before me where like, I didn't have to go through the hard times and I fully appreciate everyone that did. But like listening to some of the stories, like they're laughable sometimes, like with the things that they had to go through and you know, either harassment or like people not understanding how like concrete our sport is. And sometimes you just need to get the word out there. But like they went through so many things that like, I just can't even imagine um, going through and to just have, you know, someone like Lee and, and other people on our team, Kendall and, you know, people in our league like Hillary and, and Pooh and all the, those type of people who have, you know, been through it and been like, this is nothing. Like, this is great. I'm living the dream. But all that hard work and sacrifice obviously led up to this moment. And it's a special one to be a part of and a special one for not only me to share with them, but them to share with me all of those experiences they've had and all those things that led up to this. It's important, you know, for someone like me who's young to know and, and to truly relish in the moment that this is a dream and I'm living it and I haven't had to have the nightmares prior. So. Um, obviously like they love what they do so much and they've sacrificed you know paying for their ice and getting up at five in the morning like stories like that are you know ones that make you cringe a little bit but you know they do everything the right way and, and they're living their dream and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that with them as well. Yeah it's awesome it's a great dream isn't it? Yeah. yeah.